Okay guys, for this video, I would like to share how to change the DC connector. So I have one DC, AC to DC power supply here. And I want to change the cable, the DC plug here. So there is two wire and one DC plug. So which wire is positive and which wire is negative. And which side, if we unscrew this cap, you will see two pin here. So there is one one pin two pin this two pin so you can use this as positive you can use this as negative and the other way you can use this as positive this one as negative so this is really depends on what kind of appliance you want to use so it does not matter there is no fix this must be positive or this must be negative you can use you can use as positive this side negative this side positive this side or negative this side this really is depends on you and depends on the appliance so this is very important so since you already have AC to DC power supply and you want to change in case your DC plug is already broken you want to change you want to replace so you have to cut your wire just like this and you strip it and when you cut your wire, you must unplug DC plug from the plug point. So after you unplug and you cut the wire, then you plug back this uh, power point to the power supply. To the uh, to the, the power point, I'm going to power plug to the power point here. So let me turn on the power point. So now I already turn on my power supply and you have to check your power supply, the voltage and the polarity. So in this case, you need to have a digital multimeter. Any digital multimeter as long as you can measure the voltage of the DC. This regardless of the brand. So I'm using this Kyoriso. So I set to DC mode so here's DC mode so let me check so this is DC output so this self you can touch with your hand so basically this is black is negative red is positive so let me check my power supply so so this power supply there is output 12 volt black is negative red is positive in case your wire is no red and black, if you already reverse, let's say, if you red to black here, black to the red here, if you check like this, so you will get negative 12 volt. So negative 12 volt, which means the polarity is already reversed. So you have to notice. So in this case, you didn't get a common a normal voltage reading so we have to clear about this so the red wire supposed to be positive so the positive that's why now you get negative 12 volt if you reverse black leak and red leak okay now you didn't get negative 12 volt, you just get, you already get 12 volt. So this position is in correct position. This is a very common idea and very common use. So this is, once you already get 12 volt or 24 volt or how many voltage without showing the negative, which means your polarity is correct. So now you can simply identify red wire is positive. So red wire positive. So now I'm going to change this one. So here there is two pins here. If I use red wire to the shock here, then the inside is positive and outside is negative. So this is very common using. Let's turn off the power supply first. 
You must turn off your power supply when you are doing the wiring after you check. If not, if you short positive and negative, your power supply can be burned. So now I already turn off. And these things, I'm going to put one heat string here. Heat string. And these things, I put here first. So I'm going to use this, the short pin as positive. I'm going to use one short heat string. going to use his string here if you solder will be much more safe I really recommend to solder on it but I'm not going to solder it I just do it for demonstration purpose and anyway you can use okay so now this time I use this short wire uh, short pin as positive and I cover with the history here don't make short so now this set so you apply the history here the other side the history So the other side of the heat string, I clip to. I just show you how is how you can change the positive and negative for the DC plug. And always use the sleeve. So now, I already sleeve here. So red wire is used for the short pin and black wire used for the longer pin here and your string. Okay. So now this is done. Let me turn on my power supply. So let's check the power supply output. I already turned on the power supply here. So there is the inside here. The inside I put positive. Outside negative. So how many voltage I get? I get 12 volt. So this power supply, I change the DC plug. The inside pin is positive. Outside is negative. So this is very common and after this you just cover to this so now this is done and this is the heat string that you can stream here So this is done. So this is how we change the power supply uh, DC DC plug. So this power supply positive inside, negative outside. So make sure if you cut before you cut your wire, you must turn off your power supply. Otherwise, you will get short positive and negative then your power supply can be damaged so i hope you like this video i hope this video will help somehow and thank you for watching